Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> it's raining for a change with all of this crappy heat i'm glad to see it i was just highly disappointed that we lost power earlier today but yay it came back on before we started playing <laughs> but it's still raining. so it's still raining it's raining we for need a it. change with all of this crappy heat i'm It was very hot today, and uh, the smoke coming down from wherever it is is choking. All of those crappy the forest fires and brush fires are burning significantly. Yeah, she had it some was very hot was in New York, too. Some of the smoke was blowing over across the United States and down from Canada into New York to cause breathing problems there as well. Thank God we have AC and a really good filter. Right. All right. I, I started to upgrade to the best I could get. It's, other than HEPA, for our household, is pretty expensive. But uh, one step down, it's pretty good. Helps with allergens, helps with uh, viruses, and smoke. Uh, not today, no. Was somebody driving lose. to Powerball? We we lost like internet for like a minute, and it was really weird. But that was about that's the only weird thing that happened. Hot. <laughs> Hot. That's it. That's his answer for like what ninety percent of the year. <laughs> Hasn't rained in a few days. I'm in a subtropical climate. Hey, at least it at least it did get as hot as it did up there. How's it? <laughs> Right?
we were fighting something. Didn't somebody mess with it and get electrocuted? It's a technical battle ball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Alrighty then. Oh, they're so cute. Aren't they? I don't want to fight them. Do we have everything we need? We can just leave? Aren't I blocking the door? <laughs> They're so cute. Well, darn. They're so cute. Wow. Initiative, initiative, initiative. Right there. Wow, shocker. This go this round is going to go badly. I'm sorry, you guys. I never get initiative that high. We're doomed. Well, if it makes up for it, no seek out of one. <laughs> And Serena, okay. our uh, operative slash superhero, got an eight. So, eight, so. <laughs> a natural eight. Obviously, she got a 16, but. Ten. Let's hope. Let's hope it's high enough to do something. And she's standing right there. Into what were you doing? What? <laughs> and what do you want me to do? Because I, I, everything's fine on my end. Okay. It's passive. How do I know it's passive? Six feet. Oh, passive life science. Life, life science. Yeah. It says passive life science. What do I do with it then? What do I what do I do with it? Just bring it onto onto me. Yeah. All I have is theme. theme knowledge is all I have. Life science theme knowledge. Okay.
Oh, I see what you're saying. It's under Mystic Feats. All that stuff has to go back on. The healing channel and the life link and all that stuff goes on. Okay. 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 Uh, We've never uh, fought an organism like this, right? Well, uh, that has this type of properties, at least. So it's a fungus, huh? Okay. I, I want to know, like, if... Yeah. Gonna get killed by a fungus. Yeah. Okay. Dang, uh, that's a lot of amenities. <laughs> Okay, well, that answers the question I was going to ask. My biohacks are basically useless against this thing. Um, but I kind of had a feeling that that was the case anyway. Um, but I can still affect my allies with them.
<laughs> yeah, I guess armor classes. All right, those four would be fine. I already learned what I really wanted to know. <laughs> Um, it's a tax was one of them. Uh, I guess it's... Can I learn it's HP? <laughs> A plan. Oh. Uh, it, I guess it's... It's fine. Uh, I learned that my biohacks are useless against it. That's all I really wanted to know. <laughs> the other information is for everybody. Okay. 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 Sorry, it's just been a little bit since I looked at my stuff. Uh, I guess, uh, can I see, like, everyone in the room? Okay, um... Right. I guess I could give Zuria, like, a plus one to AC for now. With a basic booster. Uh, cool. I need that in real life. <laughs> Let's do some skin tightening there. All right. So um, I'm just going to reach down, reach down, reach out. How close am I to 
it, it's all, all around us. I could just reach out and touch it, can't I? Okay. So I am going to reach out and touch it with my gun. And I'm using a jolting surge. But you want me to target this. There we go. And do this. Make sure I've got the right one. Yes, no. Oh, then I, it's a miss. How is it a miss? Fine. I can't release my turn because it still says it's Chris's turn. Excuse me. Thank you. Turn complete. Uh, Serena's going to, well, first of all, she's going to become photon attuned to stage one, which I am right. Can I, uh, I've been, I have my, uh, my plasma ribbon and I'm proficient at certain things. Um, can I look, try using that? Yes. Okay. okay. I, it's not in my actions, I don't think. It's not in my actions, it's in my actions page, that's why I'm asking. I, I would like to try that. Yeah. It's in my inventory. It's a professional plasma, plasma rhythm, rhythm, blah, 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 blah. ribbon. It is a 10 foot long, 3 foot wide ribbon that is. Plasma powered. Deadly. 2D10 oh. plus energy and fire. <coughs> Whatever F means. Fungal. <laughs> Fungal. Yeah. It is a traditional battle ribbon. Yeah. Yes, I know what it is. Right. 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 Okay, cool. Yes. All right, cool. All right, so yeah, I would like to. Uh, I'm going to take a, a slight step to the to the west there, and I'm going to. Uh, I'm assuming I can just attack anywhere, right? It's all all around me, so I'm just going to do some battle uh, plasma ribbon down from me down to the south here, ten foot uh, area, in this area over here. I don't know how you do that, but. Oops, it didn't do a thing. So, what? Okay. Then go for it. Roll it. Come on, baby. Yes. Already, I missed. All that build up. It looks cool, though. OK. 
okay? So it's not happy with me at least. Oh. Yeah, okay. It's hitting me. Oh, that How to... You can do it. You can do it. Excuse me. 16 plus 8, 24. Four. Yeah. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> That's good. My turn? Let's see. I was trying to figure out what I... From reading the little chat, what this thing was... In. Is that all the stuff it's immune to where it says turn, Chris, all this stuff? Yeah, I think so. Resistant to electricity... What is all? Oh, no. What? Where is all the stuff that when he scanned the thing that we he was supposed to share with us? Oh. It wasn't written down. Oh, oh it wasn't. Okay. Oh. Okay. I don't remember what you said. But... <laughs> so... <laughs> Try flaming. Right. Flame I don't it. either. Let's see. I don't think I have any weapons that use fire. All mine are projectile weapons. Or grenades. Well, there's some, room. There's, some, have... there's some room. If you look around, we might be able to detonate something without killing everybody else. Just don't make it a smoke bomb. My crew. Listen. Do I, do I, I have one. I guess I have one of these. Uh, okay. So the big thing there is just if I heard you correctly, it was just something. Okay. Um, I guess I'll, I, it's been a while since I've used the bone scepter, so I guess I'll use that and swing at it.
Nice. All right. Bone scepter. I'm jealous. Okay. And the damage is... Damage roll wasn't that good. Come on. Let's see, I am going to uh, use my slow spell, which is a uh, transmutation school, three, level three. Expect the creature moves or attacks at a just dramat drastically slower level rate. Creatures affected by spell are staggered. You can take only one single move action or standard action each turn, not both, and it can't take full actions. So that is what I'm going to do. So do, how do I do this? Do I just do this full save or this cast or the attack or, or some other dice? Slow. Slow spell. Slow spell. Slow. S-L-O-W. Slow. Yep, how do I do that? It's transmutation, so it's actually changing its molecular structure to jelly. Oh. Uh -huh. At least that's, that's my interpretation of what it means. <laughs> I just press the cast or the will save. Okay. Okay, and now just press the will save or the cast. The effect is the. Uh, where is the effect? Okay, and that. Okay, and now now do what? Oh, that's it. It says uh, some questions like this. It's a standard action. It, the duration is one round per level. Nice. And, So it should be three rounds, right? It's a third level spell, or is it me? Ah. Nine. Ten level. Okay, awesome. Wow. Turn again. Okay. Oh, sadness. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do uh, a force blast. Second level.
although bull rushing really doesn't do much to it, but uh, it says it uh, is a mystical energy and blasted outward, mighty wave originating from my fingertips, damaging and potentially knocking the bacterial eye from your little thingy back, which it's not going to do. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it does a two d six damage, force damage, and uh, bludgeoning. So, yep, Soft. yep. Here we go. Come on, baby. Why am I not seeing anything on the on the thing? It's not showing me my die. All right, whatever. Moving on. Okay, so it worked, right? Or no? It's saved, so no. Not work. I, I don't know. <laughs> it has two casts, though, for some reason. I don't know why it does it, but additional force from this creature effectively attempts to pull all creatures in the area. Wait additionally, the force from the spell effectively attempts to bull rush all creatures in the area. Attempted it. A single bull rush combat maneuver using your caster level and your key ability score modifier as your attack bonus. Compare your results to the. Okay. Nice. Okay. I mean, I could just hit it, or I could, like, buff everyone else. Um, what the fuck? Oh, uh, jeez. Uh, I guess I'll give it to Fival because he was attacked last time. I can't read. I just forgot how many things, different things I can do. <laughs> yeah, probably just, uh, yeah, uh, I'll just give him okay. plus one AC because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> All right. All right, it's my turn, right? I'm gonna do the. I am going to do the uh, plasma ribbon again. With success this time. Here we go. Uh, Mantha just told me that apparently you're muted to the stream, Sven. Yeah. I've used my uh, my plasma plasma ribbon, and I've struck, and I've hit. I'm about to do damage. 
Nineteen, not too bad. Yeah, P. In a situation where you have multiple dice like this, in order to get a critical, do you have to have like a, the top number on both of them, both numbers, or could one of them just be a, a one number could in, indicate a critical? So any either of the two could be a, a, a twenty then. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, sorry. My mistake. My mistake. Go ahead. I'm now at photon mode two. All right, well, I'm going to try something different. I know it resists electricity a little bit, but still, I'm going to try this. Am I still got it targeted? Okay. Yeah. Get it. Where did the map go? Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, now you guys should be able to hear me on the stream. Yo. All right, you do not have it targeted, so let me drag it to it. Um, I did too have it targeted. Yes, that is a hit. Okay. Awesome. Well, why did it then target? I had it targeted. Is so it good? Oh, I know why. Cause it's it's Aura that had it targeted. Weird. It's so weird. Me... It is weird. Yay! Awesome, awesome. Okay. Why? Why won't it? Dude, try this. I can't get it to target. So can you apply my damage for me? Target with their swarm. Oh, I guess it says it's targeted. All right, there you go. Okay. Now, now you can do your damage. Okay. Wow. Woohoo me. All right, so you blast out uh, with your pistol, um, and swath cuts through the, for the floor. Again, as you blast it, um, it all turns black and sort of fades as uh, your shot rings out. It is attacking again. Um, so you did enough damage to where you took cut it off where you were it was attacking you so i'm gonna say it's a, another random attack okay. one two three four five so this time zarel is the lucky winner woohoo go zarel so i need a dc 16 fortitude save please Fortitude. So these, again, these fibers come wrapping around you, Ooh. and they're tiny enough to where they're piercing your armor into your skin up around your legs and ankles. And, uh... I saved! I saved! That's right. Yeah. Uh, so you... Excuse me, Sven. What's up? I just got, I just got kicked off in the sea rounds. All right. Oh! I don't show you uh, disconnected yet, so hope may hopefully it'll connect again real quick. Uh, it took me back to the. There we go. Now you're disconnected. All right. Yep. So okay. just reconnect, and you should be good. And uh, if it comes to your turn, we'll let you know. 
All right, so again, it starts because everything starts to go black, and then you're but you're able to concentrate for a moment, take a deep breath, and uh, you feel better. Yay! Yay! All right, um, Zarel, it is your go again. What? Oh, wow. Shocker. Hey, since it worked so well the first time, let me try it again. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was a mess. Well, so, it was worth a shot. She blasted across the wall again, uh, but this time uh, it doesn't look like you hit any of the important nodes. Uh, Chris. Oh, jeez. I feel like I should be doing something other than just. Like, like put your fingers into down into it, like give it a little tickle. Uh, <laughs> a little crystal, Chris tickle. I just realized that I don't have my natural weapon on my actions page. So click on the mode. Oh. <laughs> Until it gets to prep, uh, either preparation or one of the other ones, uh, depending on as you cycle through, a couple yeah, of them show it. it, it one it's does. up now. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll take a stab at it with my... Now, you also have some explosive... Oh, there it is. You do have explosive, so don't forget you have oh, explosive yeah. darts as well. They just don't do as much damage as I would like. I, I just want to try... Well, yeah, just with the crystal hand. I'll just try that. 2d8 plus 12. So I can just target it, right? Correct. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so the, the explosive dart would do 2d8 plus 12, and your hand does um, so that's nice. plus 1d4, 12. 1d4 plus Holy 15. Crap. Yeah. That's more powerful than almost anything else we have, dude. No kidding. Plus 12? Right there. Uh, I'll just... Uh, Zarel well, does plus double 21. Double attack. She has 3d4 plus 21. I know, but I'm just saying, like, that's like, I can see 2d8, okay, you get 2, or you get, you know, 16, but then you get plus 12, right there, wham, go. Yep. Got lots of room over there on the other side of the room. Roll one die. All right, so as you stab at this thing, um, automatic miss. <laughs> you that's scrape, right. you scrape across it, but it doesn't seem to hit anywhere that's... that's... <laughs> Close. I tried to do a double attack, but it only rolled one attack. Okay, so roll again. I just rolled a normal attack, but I have minus <laughs> four in the modifier. I probably just should have done a regular attack. Oh. All right. Guess it's my turn. <laughs> Missed both of them. All right. So again, a couple slices um, as your hand forms. What is it? What type of weapon does it form into? It's like a spear, basically. Okay. So a little Terminator Two action as his hand elongates and slices across the floor a couple times. Um, it's nice. very, very thin blade and so it doesn't seem to do quite as much and it's its turn again so it's still going for Zarel. oh knock it off man <laughs> I'm not that attracted to you just stop excuse me you're excused a hot chip, so. I need another DC 16 fortitude save, please. 
Oh, please, fingers crossed. Where are you? Oh, thank you, Jesus. All right. And so well, thank you. these uh, things are stabbing into you. Um, and but you're able to resist. All right. And uh, no see you're up. Yes, it's still not target. It's targeted. Not targeted. Right. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, I saw five. I'll do some bone blade action. So I'm just going to try my. Bone blade. See if I can uh, do some damage here. Discord. Let's go to into the uh, whatever you call it. Hello. <laughs> Here we go. Going in. Critical. Oh. Nice. There we go. That's what you That's wanted. Good there. And it's like got a really good hit. What? It's a magical attack and it's stunned. It's already stunned. And it's flat footed. Uh, it's well, not flat footed. Yeah, it, it can't be flat footed or stunned, but it's um, staggered still. Exactly. All right. Woohoo! It had to be the color of dice. That was a nice color, by the way. Thank you. What color were they? Were they green? Green. Okay. Yes, that's that's no she's color. All right. Um, Big low green. So you blast into it, and it, you see it takes a bunch of damage. So you can see now that the, the room is covered with these black spots um, as it's been, as you guys have been shooting it, slicing into it, doing damage to it, blasting it with spells. Um, you can see that there are large patches of the grossness as it starts to die. Serena. Serena is now level yeah. three. Where she goes here? Told you, chat wouldn't take very long. Photo attuned. She is going to use her supernova. Serena should kill and her now. Blast this thing into oblivion. Just... And blind is all in the process. Oh, it's 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 a supernova, which means you can't see it. It's in it's, it's bl black in this. It sucks all light into it. You go blind because not from light, but from dark. <laughs> I don't. Uh... I don't know what I'm saying. Here we go. All right, I'm doing it. Um, yeah, I'm doing it. Here we go. Casting supernova. Bam. Okay, I can't miss, right? And then roll your damage. I'm rolling my damage. Here we go. All right, so is this blasts out from you, radiation shoots out from you, and you have this circle around you of, of blackened and um, this stuff is, is turning into almost like a tar as it uh, burns and, and fades away. Toxic smoke choking us all. Alright, and Fival. Hello. I need the map back, please. As you wear. I'm right there. That's right. Yeah, Samantha, who's in the chat, says even when players don't have physical dice, we still find a way to be um, superstitious <laughs> about them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so. All right, Mingo, what are you doing? Roberta, it's back. I don't even Roberta. remember where I got this sword, but I'm a Skyfire sword. Right, well, yeah. you have yeah. your bone scepter in your hand. So you well, I'm going to switch them. All right, so you drop or, the bone yeah, scepter onto the floor. Yeah. Clang, 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 clang. <laughs> Draw out the sword. The sword is what you found in the skyscraper. Okay. Oh, 
I'm going to use that. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I missed. Stop, cat. Stop. So that's what the tactical fire sword looks like. Um, you've, it brings out this... Fills this whole section with plasma. Stop! I, I, I missed. Alright, and you get to go again. Oh, I get to go again. Alright, well, nice. try again, damn it. There we go, that's better. So, there we go. 3d6 plus 4 plus 9. 9 and 14. Alright, so you slice into this thing. Um,. All right, and so as you move, uh, slice across the wall and slice into this thing, um, blackness again as it starts to wither and fade, and then it starts to spread out across the room, and all across the room, this thing starts to wither and, and shrink and dissipate. And you see that it's where it was attached to the walls and such. Um, you see these small little holes, almost like it's been inundated or, sh you know, bullet holes and things all throughout the walls and all throughout the, the doors. And give me just a moment as you f hear the walls and uh, the ceiling start to creak as uh, this thing starts to die. Wow. Here it is. Wow. Okay. So, uh, I think we better be getting out of so here rather really quickly. Um, we'll, go, we'll go ahead and leave you in combat for the moment. Um, although you're not officially in combat right now. Uh, and let me turn this on. Did we get what we needed? Sable on the site. No. Yeah, we got it before we got attacked by the stuff. Didn't we? Yes. Just barely. Yes. Then let's get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah. Or this whole thing collapses on us. Sounds <laughs> like a good idea. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pick up my weapon that I dropped on the floor. <laughs> I don't want to leave that behind. <sighs> All right, so... Um... Changing this. Go. So, uh, Five, are you picking up your weapon? Are you doing anything else? Yes. No. Get out of this building before it collapses. Okay, so you're going to move? Yep. All right, so go Moving. ahead and move your movement. What, what, what? Can you throw me up the map again, please? Okay. You have a sec. You. I'm just gonna guess all. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Or can I move one more? 
Uh, you can move one more. Okay. I'll move right. <laughs> and I'll Can't open stop. the door. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> luckily, you've been able to, as you've been moving through, you're smashing, you've been smashing the doors open and such. So all the doors that you went through are easily opened. Um, as you go around, go around over there. I don't think that's all right. So, happen. everybody's, I presume, um, everybody's leaving. Is anybody staying or doing anything else? No, I'm not. And Serena's not either. I'm not even gonna risk it, not with all those noises. All right, so Chris, you are the last one um, to leave the room. Give me just a moment, guys. It's going to collapse on him. No, it's not. It's so loud to class. It's killing this thing off, and we all die instantaneously. Open. Okay. Shift. Are the rest of us moving yet, or? Yeah, we're all moving. You just don't know yet. Oh. Yeah, I do, because he threw me in the map. Exactly. Oh. All right, so... Although not All right, correctly. so as you're moving, um, as you're running through this room uh, and going to the door to the wet to the east, I mean to the west here, west uh, to the east, you hear a crash as the ceiling collapses in the room you just left, and this sinkhole opens up, taking this lower portion down here. Um, and Chris, I need from you a victorious yell. <laughs> DC twenty five athletics check to jump over oh, the pit. No. Holy uh, crap! I might be able to You're make that. You're asking a lot from a rock. Hey, he's he's Chris. Hey, he's, I he's got the... plus fifteen. That's right, man. He's he he got it. Look at that. So proud, man. So proud. Awesome. So as you jump out, uh, I'm actually going to uh, turn back on line of sight, or turn back off line of sight. All right, dude, you have me in the middle of two first. So you can see a little bit more of what's going on. Um, As you come out, into the hallway. Um, you guys can move a little bit, but uh, don't go too far. Um, you C6. This is Secure Tech. Secure Tech. Come on, Chris. Catch up before anything else sinks. There we go. All right. So as you open this door, uh, more fungus of fucking things. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, the room right across, right next to Nosy, uh, collapses, and Whoa. I mean, um. Okay, so Serena, you're fast. Uh, and you, as you come, uh, ignore everything I just said. So Serena, okay. get down here and right. start to turn to go east. You see that the wall, the southern wall with these doors and stuff collapses and the ceiling falls and this whole hallway is blocked. Okay. Um, 
So I yell. See guys coming down. Just blast our way through. So well. I'm gonna run straight up north and blast out that wall. So this oh, whole hall, no hallway is is blocked. Um, no sees the area in front of Nosi is clear, so you can go through there. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go up and start blasting at this wall here to get, to get us out of here. On the eastern right area there. of C six. I have my uh, what do I have? I have my. Uh, all right, so as he starts to shoot the wall, what are the rest of you doing? You guys running through the office? I can't through I mean, the office. I, I was actually going to ask you, how long would it take me to rig an explosive device that would blow a hole through the wall so we could escape? But you don't have an I was explosive do device something. that would do that. That was something. But how long would it take me to make one? You have so grenades, dude. Yeah, I, got I have an idea. It's kind of stupid, though, but... Go right, for it, Chris. Idea? What's the idea? Okay, well, Chris is like a 600-pound crystal rock guy. What if I just charged the hallway and just Kool-Aid man through the wall? Yes, I agree. Let's do it. Give it a shot. I want to see if this works. <laughs> I'll put some. I'll, I'll used to. I used to bombast hand cannon. Put some holes. You know, weaken up the structure, and you can just boil through it. Yeah, I definitely want to do this. We're thinking fast here. We got. We got a collapsing building. Go, Chris. So I'm guessing it's the direct past Serena, right? Yes. I'm gonna. Sh I'm gonna take my bombast hand cannon. It has a. Uh, a lot of damage, and it, plus it has knocked down. Which, to me, indicates that, that it has the power to do this. Um, I okay, could, so if you're shooting I, the wall, roll your damage. No C is in the way. Are you moving? Yes, no C is in the way. So move, no C. it would take you probably 10, 15 minutes to rig up something like that. Yeah, okay. You could try throwing a grenade if you want, but again, everybody's standing right there in the middle of the hall. Uh, Serena, roll your damage. Okay. And no, we'll see, I mean, uh, Zareel, what are you doing? Oh, I'm waiting for Chris to go through the wall. Attempt to. It's pro it'll probably 34 damage. Really stupid if it doesn't work. 34 damage. Hey, but you're indestructible, so. I don't 30, think I am. 34 damage, <laughs> and I'll step out of the, up against the wall here. Just I'm thought I'd make a good spelt. battering ram. I'm slim and felt. You transform yourself into a battering ram. All right, no. so... <laughs> give me a go, go, athletics go. check. I was going to say... If, uh, okay. Here I go. <laughs> oh, four. <laughs> hey, it's a 19. 19. It's a 19. Go, Chris, go. All right, so you slam into the wall. You take 19 points of damage. Jeez. Oh. Do it again. Do it again. And you do see some... I'll see some... Uh... Chunks of a couple pieces of the wall fall down. Uh, Step back. I'll so try now that you guys are standing here in the hallway, pieces of the ceiling are falling on you all. So I need to get a Oh It's written that only one of you. Alright, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. One, two, three. Serena, I need a DC 20 reflex save. 
Reflex, say, there we go. Reflex, there we go. Come on, baby. Woohoo! Nice. Run into the wall. Alright, so a big chunk of the ceiling falls and you take nine points of damage. Okay. Or I'll just come out there and throw a grenade at it, whatever y'all want me to do. All right, so the way is still like open through the room. office. Is anybody going through the office, or you can just be standing here in the hall as the ceiling falls? Nope, nope I'm, I'm going through the office. office. Thank you. Okay. So no seat take is taken off. I mean, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Zarel is taken off. No see, what are you doing? Three quarters at a time here. I am... Uh... I'm tending to, uh, I'm watching out for, uh, for Chris and Serena here to see if they're going to get, uh, to the wall or get, or get damaged. But here to help either way. We can assess the condition of what, what we've done so far. Can I, can I... Figure out that I can shoot the thing a couple more times, and uh, between Chris and I, I can get through here. Give me an engineering check. One second. All right, so um, does anybody else want to? Let's see who who else is trained in engineering. I think I am. I mean, I, I have, have one point, point one, one rank, rank in it, but all right. So go ahead and give me. Engineering. A, do you have any ranks in it at all? Not the your total, but if you have ranks in it, go ahead and give me an engineering check. Yeah, no, not me. 26. All right, so um, between the four of you, you all know that assuming this is stone or concrete, iron or steel or... or more than that would be more. Um, right. It has a hardness of 15, so that means if you don't do 15 points of damage, it doesn't take any damage. You okay. have to do at least 15 to even hurt it at all. And from then, it has 15 hit points per inch. So you're, and you're guessing this wall is at least 12 inches thick. Okay. So the changes are, let's say we have a massive bomb that would probably press more so than the wall. Can't do that. So it's like 160 hit points. At this point, we're not sure how much damage Chris did, but you did um, 36 to it. And it has about 160. So it's got about 130-ish left if your calculations are correct. The rail's already halfway out the building. All right. Well, then I guess we'll follow her because we we have to stick together, right? Now, with that roll, no C and Chris, you remember that the front rooms had glass um, windows, so those oh. are significantly less and much easier to go through. Okay. All right. We'll take off then. Glass has yeah. one hit point per inch and uh, hardness hardness of two. Okay. So even if they're 12 or 15 inches thick, they still only have a dozen or so hit points. Okay. So we're going to take to our out, 
to the offices and we're seeing that, that the, the ceiling is actually holding up somewhat more so than the, the falling around this. So we should follow the rail and book off that way. It is to some extent, yes, the, the thicker the moss and the, it was concentrated in that server room, then the faster these things are taken. That's why there was a sinkhole opened up, the ceilings are starting to fall. The whole building is collapsing, yes, but it does seem to be coming from there and moving. Moving that direction. So we're, direction, we're, we're yes. pulling a combination Indiana Jones, uh, Han Solo thing here and going to take off. Okay. Let's hit, let's book it, man. Asses and elbows, asses and elbows. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm almost to this hallway. I say that only oh. in case the DM has any more surprises. <laughs> so then we just move. Yep, I'm falling by, I'm, I'm behind. <sighs> Come on, you guys, I see that it's still clear so far. I just I want to move it slowly so he doesn't get pissed at us, that's all. Alright, so everybody can move up to where Nosi is. Although, I mean, uh, Zareel is. Okay. Oh, crap. I see stone. What? Stone? I see pieces of rubble. Where's the glass? Food! It's like in the main lobby room. <laughs> Stones. All right. So as you get in, You're uh, now. as you step out to here, you see this whole front room has collapsed. Um, right. There Where's is my gun? glass okay. here. And there's glass there. Um, Is it there glass right here next to this big old collapse section? Yeah, that's what the glass looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's that's, the, yeah the opposite effect is that the glass st structure is going to be most likely to crumble, crumble under pressure. So we're taking a chance going that direction anyway. So at this point, you have no way out of the building. Mm. All right. Oh, yes, you nothing do. I thought we were going to the window. Hold on, let's let's rethink this, guys. Oh, okay. That I have. I can. I have. The ceiling uh, collapses can... behind you as well, where you guys were a moment ago. I can do a force blast or a uh, hurl force disc, but that's not going to be enough to do anything. Um, so you are stopping and talking, or are you moving? You gotta uh, move. Guys. We just a uh, little thing just north of the whatever <laughs> this great thing is. That's a door, right? That's a door leading into there, but it's the wall is collapsed. You can see right into the room, and you see the whole thing is um, caved in. Can I? I can create a life bit? bubble for one person to breathe in the rubble if they get crushed, but uh, that's about all I can do there. Let's talk There's about this little thing down here by the two little blue dots. That's a glass. That's glass, right? Yes, there's glass in this front room and the next room over. Uh, uh, yeah. Bible, grenades, I say into the mic. Fireball grenades. Well, I want to here. It's right. glass. There. I'm just gonna dive and through the I'm gonna throw a grenade at the glass just to the right of all that rubble or okay, whatever it is. Damage. Um, let me see. Which uh, could have probably go to help, but.
Did it break? That don't work. I got another idea. Yeah, I'm just going to dive through right. the glass. So the glass has it's... spider webs, but it does not break. Uh, Serena with her bombast cannon <sighs> at the thing. Okay, hold on a second, guys. I'm, I, okay, go ahead and roll your damage. I'm trying... My, I, I can't access the map, um, so roll your damage. All right. It specializes in piercing and there we go. Uh, knockdown. So it's got some serious blowback to it. Why are you putting me way over there? Because he's the DM. He gets to do what he wants. Because that's where the, the glass is that you guys are shooting. So, Serena, yeah, okay. you blast out the glass, and it is now yeah. this window is now open. All right. And we're going to dive out, man. She's very athletic okay. and fast and nimble. She's going to dive right out. Okay, so everybody give me initiative. 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 That is not where we were trying to shoot out the glass. That's the only place yep. you can shoot out the glass unless you're going to go all the way back because all the other w doors and windows and stuff are right. collapsed. When he asked you, he specifically said the one with the two dots right here next to the debris. Yeah, but, but we can't visualize all this stuff all the time. You got to trust him. He knows what he's doing. Okay, fine. It, it doesn't matter. You can be right here. Okay. That's where you want to go. There we go. Right there. I'm just saying, that's the glass he was asking about. He wasn't asking about it being in the next room. I mean, right, everybody rolled just... initiative. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So the last person to go is Zrael. Okay. So as you guys... I'm moving through. This ceiling collapses as well. I need a. Here it is. So as you're running out of this glass, right? A, a piece of the chunk of the wall falls down. Uh, give me reflex DC 18. Reflex. Reflex. Everybody? Nope, that's just the rail. Just the rail. All right. Oh. Oh, nice. Very good. Can't get better than that. All right, so you're able to dodge out of the way and you only take half the damage and you're not buried all the rest of that is that okay so you take 14 points of damage And you guys are out of the building as you see it. The rest of it collapses down. Awesome. It's kind of like the domino effect. Yes. Yep. And it's dust and. We'll step back a bit and away from the dust and et cetera. The parts of the walls you can see, like I said, look look like they've been um, pierced by tons of needles and things um, from where this moss was holding it up. And now that is you guys killed it, it's gone. Um, 
All right, so now as you're catching your breath and looking, um, you guys really aren't that hurt, even those those of you who got hit. Um, did you want to take a 10-minute rest? Did you want to head back? What did you want to do? Let's take a 10-minute rest. Uh, Zarel has, has kind of got some damage. Do I get a, do I have a second to, for that to that? So very hurt. So I don't mind taking her. He's off fatigue. Her her heart is off fatigue, right? So no, you, you nobody wanna... is even close to uh um hit point damage. Yes. She's all fatigue. Okay. So uh you wanna use your stamina to fix there yourself you there? Do you care? I don't care. Let me see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sorry. So if we take a short rest, will the fatigue come back? We still have to use the stamina. Sorry, Let stream. Do that. I was uh, trying to. How does that so work? So caught up with the map and stuff. I, I, if I use the stamina, we have to take so. a 10 minute short rest. So either I rest here for 10 minutes while you guys walk ahead, or everybody rests with me. Right. Everybody right. decided to take a rest, and that's and it's right. been pushed. Oh, we, well, we still have to use a stamina point to clear the fatigue, correct? A resolve point to clear a resolve the, point. To yeah, the yeah, stamina back, point. yes. Okay. All right. So if are you going to do that, Surreal, or not? I've already done that. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so as you guys take your rest, um, off in a distance, you can see some more of those little Daylins, little cloud floaty things, um, little jellyfish looking guys as they float away, um, digesting some of the gases and things. Where would you like to head back to? You can go back to Cloudside. You can head straight to the Forge. The Temple found. What would you like to do? How late in the day is it? Do we have time to make it back to the Temple found? There's an echo for the players. Okay. Don't tell me it's um, in the uh, calendar. Why would there be an echo? That doesn't make sense. Don't tell me it. Uh, is it on your calendar? The calendar today is the 27th, right? How do I get into there? View entry log. There we go. That should help. So it's 8 in the morning. or So that we've been going since 8. We arrived here. Is that, when I, am I reading the calendar correctly? All right. Well, hopefully we started at 8.15 here in the morning. Uh, give me a second as I pull up the calendar. It says 8.35 a.m. I can't be right. All right. So you guys, um, it was 8.35 when you started the fight with the floating guys. Nine. So it is now uh, 9.15 Let's, in the morning? Yeah. Yeah, I, th okay. I think it's fine to go, continue on. I think on. we have plenty of time to go to the temple found. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Should we close out this map? Correct. You do not need that map anymore. Okay. Did you get your chicken, Michaela? Okay. All right, so let me pull up the map. Come on. I'll take it. There we go. That is the map of Istamac. Sweet. Cool. 
こう。All right, and everybody give me a percentile. The tower of, yeah. in the tower? Whoa, Just in the, as in the chat. Okay. Well, hold on just a minute. <laughs> What you got there, big guy? I got booted again and got a get my All right, and so are you guys doing the same thing you did before, just backwards on how to get back across to the mainland? Yes, yes I believe so. Yes. It's going to take us a little bit of time, right, to do that? Correct. It's a cool picture. Yep. Oh, and I need, need, seen the broken I need to give you that roll. All right, 35, 915. Actually... 10. I will say it will be 0, 8, And then cross the Flooring Islands. So it takes an hour. 0, 9, 30. <laughs> so. He's like, Mommy didn't even touch me when she came downstairs. So I did the, um, I was looking at the map, I mean, at the, uh, my notes wrong. Uh, 8.35 is when you started across the first time. It's probably about noon. So right? you got to, uh, you yeah, got yeah. to the Secure Tech offices at 9.30. And so it's now 10.15. Okay. We're gonna start heading back across. I don't have it. Okay. Seriously, I, I had unmated socks the other day. I don't know where any of my clean socks are. Back across the floating. No, I can get my sock door. Get one. All right. So at this time, uh, it's now eleven o'clock. Because you know a little bit more about what you're doing. Um, Chris has a little bit of a struggle, but uh, you guys are, are able to help him out. Um, and Zarel is able to fly. So Zarel, go ahead and take off another minute of your... Uh, actually, no, another uh, three yes, minutes with your 65 roll. Go ahead and roll, take off three minutes of your fly. Um, I think you only use one before. So you still have like six or seven minutes left for the day. Where is my flying at? It's in your actions page. Scroll down. Um, it's one of your class abilities. Starlight form. I don't even know if, if I have a thing ticked off for it or not. Walk the void. Uh, here we go. So much for the tempo. You didn't o'clock. put tick marks in that for me. All right. So we'll just keep that in mind that you have about seven minutes left, six or seven minutes left to the tempo. Okay. You divide it up into one minute increments, or is that how does that work usually? She gets one minute per level. That's pretty cool. You gotta admit, if you had that uh, flowing cloak of uh, invincibility. All right, so you head, you're back at the abandoned building, um, the, the sort of big dip in the ground. Okay. And the temple found is way down here, right? All 
Oops. Are you returning the gear? Yes. Of course we are. We're not cavemen. All right, so I'm pulling up the party sheet. Inventory. Waiting for Fancy Grounds to catch up. All right, so I don't think anybody took anything. It looks like it's all still here in the party sheet. That is correct. Pretty sheet. So um, I do reserve the right to, if, I, if we find anything that you guys grabbed, like grapplers or ropes or anything else, um, then we'll just delete it later. I don't think there's anything else there. I'm not going to take the time to look through all your inventory right now. Um, okay. But it looks like everything was there. Uh, I think you didn't take everything in the first place. All right, so you um, drop off the stuff uh, and are you going to just go a straight shot or um, actually you would probably want to go south to avoid the main Kish settlement to your to the east? So which, which building is it again? Is it the one all the way over on the right with the staple in it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, Correct. Well, that's it. Yeah, so the staple's go, not working goes. like it should. The pin isn't working like it should. But uh, okay. so We're avoiding the, the, the brown uh, farming area here, I'm assuming, right? That would be wise if unless you guys want to go see if you can be diplomatic toward the main Kish Uh no, thank you. Settlement. They're mean. And you've attacked. Yeah, kind of assholes. You've Just mean we're going like to go through the forest. Fifteen the, uh, of them already. <laughs> um, you can go around it or through it. It's up to you. You guys went around it to get here. Okay. Do you want to want to go all the way around, mm -hmm. around it? I'm assuming, or do we want yeah. a chance to go through the forest? A eternal death there. So you guys did see those dog critter things? Yep. You fought them, and you know they came from the forest. So I you know there's you. at least some things in the forest. I think we should go back the way we came. Yep. All right. Yeah, so we'll head go, down south and then east or west and then yeah, back all the uh, way over. Yep. The safe way. All right. It's a lot of the distance. How, how long is it going to take us to do that? All right, I want. I need everybody to give me a survival check. Survival, survival in front that's of. That's under skills, isn't it? Correct. It's in yeah. skills. Okay. Survival. Whoa. Nineteen. That open. Nice. I was going to be kind of upset if I got the best roll, best score with plus zero. Here it is, 450 feet. All right, so <laughs> I'm sadly disappointed in mine. Yeah. 4,000 feet. You did, get the, you did a really nice score, though. Natural 20. Yeah, way to go. Great. Exactly. All right, so it's a couple miles. Um, it's not too bad. And with the rolls, let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, so Serena was the worst, surprisingly, with 17. Um, no C was the best, also surprisingly. Um, right. Although she has 19, plus 19, so that's not yeah. bad. So um, my survival skills are very high. I'm a level nine. Two hours, two miles. Biology, baby. Mysticism. Sleight of hand. Does it every time. Flurry off. Drop off the 
equipment. All right, so I'm going to say it takes you about 45 minutes to get toward as you head toward the temple. So it is now noon, straight up. Okay, cool. All right, so you guys are going to take a few minutes and eat and, eat and stuff and uh, relax before you head in? Yes. Absolutely. I'm beside the dead, decaying uh, wolf body. Lions are attacked. No, I'm joking. We're not really doing All that. All right, give me just a second. All right, so, um, yeah, the, uh, let me put you guys where you is. All right, so as you get closer to the temple, you guys stop for a moment and, and eat some food. All right, and um, oh my god! So as you're looking at the building, you see to the north is the main entrance, um, and that's where. Uh, I, and uh, right in front of you is the walkway. Uh, let me double check one thing. Enter. Oh my god. You see this is a very large building. Go ahead and give me culture. Uh anybody who's trained in it or engineering. Eight. One or the other. Solid scores. Solid score. All right, so this looks like uh, some sort of factory, um, some sort of uh, large building. You see there are areas where vehicles would come to you know, big, long, long docking bay type area. Um, and you see there's large areas for where people would park, um, main entrance in and out. Um, it's at the, the main entrance is in the center of the building's northern facing. Uh, there are people there. Uh, if you guys do a lot, like, Fievel goes up and does a little sneaky sneak. You see there's a large hammer and anvil motif on the side of the, the building there. Um, and there's also a fountain uh, uh, in the front of it. We have no pictures or anything like that, correct? Not of the outside of it, no. But where you want to go is actually around to the around the back okay because that's where you have the um you know the keypad override is right, right to the back cool let's do it looks like there are, it's a couple it goes two stories up 20 feet up and it looks like there's two floors um, and it also you can tell as you go around to the back um, there's also one that goes down part of it that goes down all right and uh, Bobby are you with us 
Yes. Me. Oh, you're talking to Roberta. <laughs> nope, I was talking to you. Um, oh. I was just making sure you were, you were there, Bobby. Yep. All right. Um, I'm here. I'm listening. All right, so as you work your way around, you see that there's some weeds, uh, and uh, there's part of the the area has collapsed, um, and there's a small, narrow courtyard, uh, and there's some uh, broken bench there as well. But there's a big metal door and a little digital keypad next to it. Cool. Them on here. All right, let's have you know five all. Chris, you guys want to do the honors? I know what the code is, and I. Oh, we have it in our computers. Oh, okay. Well, the... then I'll. I'll so I'll go it's a continue. thing where you go and you press four different <laughs> keys at once. And that overrides it and puts it into maintenance mode. Are my hands big enough? <laughs> uh, if you drag, you can drag the bench over, and so you can reach it. All right. I'll drag a bench over and jump on top of it and put in the code. All right, so it goes um, into maintenance mode. So now you do have the means to unlock it. Okay. Unlock. All right, so give me just a moment. Open, boink, boink, boink. What? Okay, good, 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 good. Zoomy, zoomy, zoomy. All right, so let me go ahead and give you guys lights. Um, I assume your dancing lights are, is a, a level, uh, your dancing lights is a cantrip, right? You can do it as many times as you want. Ron? Yes, I can. I can, I can up to 12, 10 feet apiece apart um, to uh, 30 foot distance I can see. That helpful. Actually, all, both my characters can do that. I think abilities, no spells, actions. So shall I do that? All right. So I'm putting. I put light on Zarel and on Serena and Nosi. Dancing lights, level zero. I can I can shoot them a hundred and ninety feet actually, up to four up to four lights for one minute. I can trail them out to make a forty foot, uh, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. If I want to make a long snake of, of light, like fluorescent tubes. I wouldn't want to do that in this case, I'm just saying. I also have a flashlight. I wouldn't necessarily need to have flashing lights, but. It's not flashing, they're dancing. Okay. It's dancing. Not... Yes, they're, they're much more creative. I, uh, they're pretty. So I don't need the light.
Well, let's see. I, I only have light blindness, so I have to see something. What do I have here? I have dark vision. Dark vision and light blindness. All right. Burns and um, Chris, you also have your blue light. It doesn't shine very brightly, but yeah. uh, it is blue around you. If you ever wander off by yourself, you'll be able to see that. If you get out of the light of the other characters. All right. So. Um, but no, she hasn't, cannot see at all. So. And the rail, you have your flashlight. All right. So you're at the door. The door is open. All right. So five, okay. you're able to open it. Cool. And right. chat, let me give Serena's you Serena's going to step the, up uh, and be back up here, uh, backing up uh, five all there. Oh, I got it. She tends to be a bit impetuous, so she's uh, on it. She's on it. All right, so you guys are can move if you'd like. I want to see this one in the back. Oh, yes, okay. All right, so five will disappears. Okay, what do I see at this door? It's just a hallway here to go to that door. And that's it. All right. Whoa. Damn it. Hold on. Oh. All right, so you... Um... Okay, uh, did you open up the door? You see... It opens up into a room. Why isn't it? Uh, there we go. There we go. One more. There. So you see that there's a uh, rest of you moving in? Because yes. nobody else can see anything. Okay. Um, Said. So Five. Serena and Five will. Uh, I think how to get out of here. Where are you? Okay. You turn on. I don't know how to do this now. You have to go through the doors if if movement has been locked. Okay, got it. I went through the door. Okay, hold on a minute, guys. Yep. I'm. We're all, we're all you, hanging. So when you step into the room, if you're the the only person in the room, I don't want to describe everything because nobody can see what's going on. But if I wait till everybody goes into the room, then. Five holes running all the way around the building and everything else. So you guys have to stick together or not. And then I'll either decide we'll go from there because, um, you know, understand what I'm saying? It makes it difficult yes. for me as a DM to describe what's happening if you guys are running off on your own um, or if you're not staying. Uh, and that's fine. If Five Hole wants to run off by his own, that's fine. But I just need to know are you guys, do you guys want to stick together or are you going to let Five Hole? Scout ahead. Uh, Ser Serena and Fivel. Uh, Serena is uh, tailing Fivel and gonna gonna wheel him in if he starts getting too uh, rambunctious. So that is a general uh, her her uh, chosen Man. thing. So he's gonna tend to be wandering, and she's gonna tend to be hey, hold up, wait, wait for everybody else. So all right. So as you guys come into this room, do you see that there's. Um, it's almost like a deja vu for a second, but then you realize it's not moss. It's actually like slime all over the place. Looks like somebody sneezed and kept sneezing all over the place. Um, you do see that there's little bits of metal and some plastic, uh, and there's a small table and such. Um, and coming out... You see a couple little critters. 
suppose. Okay. I'm showing you a picture. So coming out of one of the rooms, one of the doorways, is this little thing. Hmm. And coming out of the bottom doorway, is this thing, this is a large creature uh, as a sort of a half robot, half ooze as it comes out of the room. And we will see you in two weeks. Yes. Uh, and the unidentified, wow. Yep. Who brought the salt, damn it? <laughs> All right, that's a pretty cool room. Wait. Good they job, they might, be cool. they might be friendly. They yeah. might be. More than like but more than likely not. That's true. Uh, uh. Hey, you guys so thanks for leave. playing with me, guys. I appreciate you. Yep. Um, I appreciate you too. Great maps, dude. All right. I'm thank you, thank you. Uh, let me see. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. All right. And so uh, we will be here in two weeks. Next week, we're doing the Dawn of Flame campaign. So I'll see you all next week. We will pick this story up in two weeks. Okay. I'm going to sign off now from the stream. So everybody say goodbye to the stream. Bye. Hey, people. Thanks for showing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you want to see where th how this progresses, check out the, the playlist on, next week. <laughs> on uh, no, the use in the tubes. It. Thank you, Mantha, for lurking. Yeah. I appreciate it. Also, Atomic Hero Squad. Uh, you guys are normally here on. hanging out with us. We appreciate it. It was uh, nice to see you, dude. Up in, up in our thing. Like, subscribe, whatever else you do. Enjoy the rest of your day.